Well, as if on cue, it seems like it happened. There is a level 5 collared peccary with a guaranteed diamond estimate. I just have to hit the shot is all. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we're doing the World Tour Challenge again, and this is episode 2 of Parque Fernando because we did not get a diamond in the last video. So, or in the last World Tour Challenge video. So we're going to try it today again. Hopefully we can get one. I think tonight, or today, we're going to hunt more of the night time, starting with the mule deer going in, into, I think, Puma, and then, I believe, Collard Peccary after that. And I guess if that doesn't work, then we're just going to continue on into Axis Deer. But without further ado, let's get into the video. That is a very weird-looking deer. He is fleeing, unfortunately. But I wouldn't mind getting him just because of the odd look of him. That's not a good shot. Oh, actually it is. Never mind. I mean, unless I hit brain, which is possible, but whatever it is, I dropped them. So let's go take a look at him. Uh, but yeah, weird looking antlers like that. They lay flat. Obviously, it's just a level three. There's nothing special about them other than the uniqueness. It'd be cool if he was a rare to put him in the lodge. But let's go see what he looks like up close. All right, our mule deer should be laying just up here. And there he is. Let's see what he looks like close, and I kind of want to see what kind of shot I did. I don't know if I hit the brain or if I hit the neck. Let's see. I hit the upper neck. It was actually a good shot. I kind of got lucky there was off to the side a little, but got it in there. A 232 is a pretty nice uh, level 3, I think. Just really widespread, weird-looking deer like that. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I'm i glad we got a shot at him and got to look at him. It'd be cool to get a rare like that, just for some variety in the lodge. There's a very big mule deer over here. I actually thought it was a diamond at first, but it is not. So I'm going to shoot him. If I can. That should be a good hit. And there he goes, starting to drop now, finally. There's another big four. If he turns cooperative for me, I'll take a shot as well. I'm going to see if I can hit a walking shot here. I definitely hit it, but uh, it's unlikely I hit it good. Let's see, especially with the penetration of the 270. Well, his health is dropping, so I actually think I might have got that in there. Let's go walk over there, and I better reload too. But let's go walk over there and pick up those two mule deer bucks and take a look at them. All right, the first mule deer buck is laying right here. And I think he was a blonde fur type. That looks like it. Yes, and he's a 247, nice looking buck. From a distance, I thought that was the diamond rack, but it is definitely not. Um, just a nice gold is all. And somehow we got the opposite lung. Not sure how that happened, but we did in fact get him. Now let's go find that other one and see, because that's the shot I'm really curious about, just because it was, you know, kind of a tough shot. But it definitely did get hit good. So let's see what he looks like. All right, the next one's laying right here. Let's see what that shot looked like. First of all, he's a 240 gold, almost as big as the other one. Nice looking set of antlers on him. And that shot was, well, very good, actually. Didn't, like, nail the lung, but I did get it. I aimed, like, here or something. But uh, 366, that was a pretty long shot. I'm glad I got the penetration I needed to get that lung, because almost didn't. And he was quartered way more than I realized, too. But we got him down in a nice looking buck, so... I think next is, uh, well, I'll keep looking for Mule Deer for a little bit, but I think um, Puma drink time is coming up very soon. Or maybe, maybe it's Black Buck. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that that's a Dilute Mule Deer over there. Now, that's not really anything super special, but it is uh, a definitely a cool animal that I wouldn't mind getting in the lodge. The, um, the World Tour Lodge. So if I can get a shot into him... If he cooperates, I will. That hit him. I don't know if the second one did. Hopefully, oh, that first that actually got him good. I don't know where we hit him, but he's going to go down, and we should get full credit for that uh, that medal. Um, and then we'll have, I believe it was a dilute mule deer, and we can put him up in the lodge. Yeah, so here he is. That's definitely, I think that's dilute, yep. And uh, the bleed rate was medium, so I must have hit him pretty good. Oh, I double lunged him. Mm, somehow. I don't think that was what would realistically happen normally. I think I think that might be bugged. But it's a dilute mule deer, which I believe is technically a rare now. I don't think it's very rare. I could be incorrect about that, but I think nonetheless we'll tax him for the uh, World Tour Lodge. 
So I'll do that here. And he's a 191 silver. So nothing insane at all, but cool to have him in the lodge. And he's nice and typical looking. Nice looking antlers. Um, that'll be fun to put up. Well, I don't think it's anything special. I think that might be a gray puma, which won't go into the lodge, but they're fun to look at, so I might as well get a shot into it. And um, there it's starting to go down. It was going to go into the water, though. That's the question. That, see that? I don't, I don't know. It might just be a regular one, because that one almost looked gray, too, and I think that's regular. Yeah, that might be regular. Are you going to float? No? Okay. Let's go run over there and take a look. And then it's actually almost colored peccary drink time, so then we're going to shift gears and hunt for them. Alright, it's laying over here. I think it's a gray? Let's see. Yeah, that's a gray. Which, like I said, I don't think is rare, but fun to look at nonetheless. And yeah, it's a gray female puma. And that shot did not bad. Got a full lung. But they're fun to look at. I would like to get a diamond gray in the watch if, if we could. Maybe one day we'll put some effort in and try and do that. Not on this map, though. Probably, like, Silver Ridge Peaks. And, uh, yeah. Really neat looking animal. So, like I said, next is Colored Peccary drink time. So, I think we're going to shift gears and go for them now. And hopefully we can find some nice stuff. Well, I was able to find some javelinas. And I can't really find anything incredible. But there's a level 3 out there. And I'm interested to see what the 270 will do to them should do just fine. It's bigger than necessary. Um, I guess I hit it good? That's kind of weird. I think I might have been too high now that I think about it. It's zeroed for 300 and it was only 250. But at least I'll get to see the penetration on that. That's kind of what I'm more curious about. And in case we find something nice, um, we'll know if it's a viable option or if I need to go like grab the muzzleloader or something. But they are class 4, so the 270 is ethical and so is the muzzleloader. So let's go see what we got. Alright, here he is. And it's a vital organ blood, but... Oh, I did hit double lung. So it gets plenty of penetration, as you would expect. Um, and it got in there just fine. He's only an 88 score, he's actually just a silver. But what is uh, diamond is 144 and a quarter. But yeah, we got it in there and got him down. So if we do find a rare or a diamond um, javelina, we can definitely get him down with the 270. So uh, I guess let's continue looking for some because I think it's just into their drink time now. So hopefully we find something. Well, as if on cue, it seems like it happened. There is a level five colored peccary with a guaranteed diamond estimate. I just have to hit the shot is all at this point, and he's almost exactly 300, so I'm going to go ahead and try it, and hopefully I can hit it, because I'd like to be moving on from this map. So, let's see if that did it. Looks like he's dropping right away, so it looks like we definitely got him. He's going to go down right there, and that hopefully should be a diamond, assuming I didn't hit anything bad, which... I mean, the only really the only thing I could have hit would have been spinal cord, and he wouldn't have dropped that fast. Even vertebrae shouldn't have dropped that fast. So, hopefully, we're all good. Let's go find out if we have ourselves a diamond, and we can move on to Yukon Valley. All right, this is over where they were. So we'll, let's see if we can find him. I think that's him. Yes, he's right there. Hopefully, everything's good here. Let's. Uh, I guess let's not wait any longer. Let's see. It's a diamond. 157. That seems like a really big one. Is that max weight? Yeah, that's max weight. That's a max weight. I don't think max score. Ooh, and we actually didn't do that good. I don't know if that was from me or if the 270 is not the most accurate, because I thought I was aiming pretty well center. But nonetheless, we got him, and that's what's important. Double lung shot. Took him a minute to go down, but that's a diamond-colored peccary getting us off of... Uh, Parque Fernando. I'm going to go ahead and taxidermize it right away. We're going to have to head back to the lodge now, and I'm very grateful to do so. So let's do that, and I'll see you guys there. All right, everybody, we're back in the Trophy Lodge for the World Tour Challenge, and that concludes our hunt on Parque Fernando. We did finally achieve a diamond, and we got it right here. That's that collared peccary scoring 157.2 max weight uh, collared peccary. It's a gray fur type. I thought it would look cool on the pedestal here in this running pose. It just shows it off nicely. And then up in that corner up there, 
Can we get up on the stairs? Up in that corner, there is the dilute mule deer. And uh, that was just a nice, pleasant surprise. And we've got some, some variety in this lodge, some nice stuff. Um, I'm hoping eventually we can get a diamond red deer for this to put with that as a multi-mount. And I think what's left to do that on... Oh, we've got a few maps. So, I guess that pretty well concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, check out the first episode of the World Tour Challenge.